that transitions us into the trade that I'm in right now, which if we take a look again at the FX trade, I'm up about 19 and a half pips on the position. So the stop is locked. I can't lose any money. And we're going to just take it candle by candle. Picking it off this low here, knowing that it's Tuesday, knowing that this thing is building divergence, I'm thinking just because of my market experience that this could be the low for the week and we might see this thing come higher, kind of pulling back from the last two weeks of drop into the next couple of days. And if it does, then I've got this low picked. I want to stay in for as long as I can with as much size as I can until it gives me reasons, like I said before, to get out of the trade. So here you can see the 800 EMA is really, really far from where we are now but it's not out of the question as far as something that we could potentially reach. It's only 96 pips. We could definitely be there by tomorrow, 144.40, 144.20. So my thought is I will hold this trade overnight if I have to, especially if it moves into profit and I can lock the stop even more to make sure that it doesn't bump me on the changeover of day when spreads open up. But unless it gives me an exit signal, I'm gonna to try to ride this thing out and take advantage of some of this counter trend move. And again, guys, if you wanna learn more about how we're identifying these divergent signals, I'm not the only one that's able to see this. It's all detailed in the videos that are linked in the description and in the courses. The courses, of course, are gonna, the courses, of course, are gonna have the best information for you guys. All right, guys, it's almost two o'clock. We're about three minutes away from two o'clock. I'm back from the gym now. I got my lunch here. I got stopped, as you can see, in profit on the remaining half of this EuroCAD trade. So the second trade of the week so far, the first trade last night, like I explained to you guys already, it moved about 36, 35 pips into profit before stopping me out at break even. Same kind of thing happened here. Although with this trade, as it started to come back down right before I went to the gym, I closed 50% of it up 21 pips. And seeing that my stop was only about eight pips, that's just about three R, that's a good chunk of the trade. I think that what I'm doing a little bit too aggressively here on both the trade from yesterday back here and the trade here off the low of day, I think what I'm doing is trading counter trend for sure. And what I'm doing too much is trying to assume that this is the piece where it's going to go all the way back up and erase the entire drop that it had. Even though I think that I'm not, that's what my take profit levels show I'm doing. So what I need to do is kind of regroup a little bit and go back to what we talk about on our black shirt calls, which is that these D2 trades, the counter trend idea, because Eurocat is clearly short biased. I've said that a million times, right? You see all the other live trades. Because it's falling because it's in that downtrend. These are D2 trades and these D2 trades should not be trades where I'm going for 7R, 13R. A D1 trade, definitely in trend, you could have the top of something and you could ride that trend for days or weeks. You could have been short Eurocad from last week and you could be making money still with that short bias. We could have been short today. There's a D1 entry signal here and here telling us that this thing is going to come lower. I just happen to be in the counter trend bounce. And what I think I can do better from the trade last night and the trade today, what I want you guys to take out of this so we actually have something applicable in this short video to take and apply to your trading going forward. If you're trading counter trend, don't go for the home run. Don't go for five, six, seven, eight R. This trade here today, at best for me, moved 30 pips. My stop was only eight pips. That's still a great trade, especially counter trend. I don't need to try to get that whole move. I should be in and out. Same thing last night. I was up 36 pips with a nine pip stop. It's over three R. It's like, get in, get out. You know, these counter trend trades don't go all the way full reset. And on top of that, you know, the higher time frame trend is still short biased. But today, still blue.